How's it going guys, it's Kyle the Hype Guy123 here and today I'm bringing you guys an update tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server for Minecraft 1.15.1 and this should work for newer versions of Minecraft as well. So let's go ahead and get ready into the tutorial. Alright, so the first thing you're going to need to do is head over to the description of this video and I'll provide all the links you need to make your server. And the first link is going to be for Java. So you need to install Java to make your server work. Without Java, your server is not going to run. And you also need to have the correct version of Java installed. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. So uh, you'll see, if you scroll down here to Windows, you'll see two options, Windows Offline and Windows Offline 64-bit. So if you have a 64-bit computer, you're going to want to download the 64-bit version. And if you have a 32-bit computer, you're going to want to download the uh, just windows offline and now to check if you have a 64 or 32 bit computer i uh, come down here to the start button and then click on the gear here to open your settings and i come over to system and then about and under the device specifications here it should say a uh, system type it should say either 64 bit operating system or 32 bit operating system uh, and then once you have determined which one you have and uh, we're gonna come back to the settings in a bit so i'm just going to minimize that and uh, once you have determined which Op uh, which operating system you have, uh, just download the correct version of Java, and uh, you definitely make sure that you have the right version installed, uh, otherwise it will cause uh, problems later. Okay, the next thing is to, we're going to need to download our Minecraft server software, so this will be the second link in the description, and it's just going to be to minecraft.net, and you're going to want to scroll down a bit, and you'll see play Minecraft on these devices, and you'll see two options, download Minecraft Java Edition server software, and you also see uh, download Minecraft server software. Make sure to download the Java edition version because this one here is for the Bedrock edition and this is for the Java edition. So click on the green button that says get it here and that's going to bring you to this page here. Now come down here to where it says download Minecraft underscore server 1.15.1.jar or whatever version you were running. Just click on it and that's going to start the download for the server file. So give that a second to download. And now it's going to ask you if you want to keep this file because Google Chrome tends to think that .jar files could be harmful to your computer. Make sure to click keep because if you hit discard, it's going to delete the file. Uh, now just for a second, minimize your internet browser and head over to your desktop or pretty much you're going to need to make a file somewhere on your computer and this could be anywhere. I just like to put it on my desktop just for easy access just so you know where your server is. So just right click on your desktop, go to new folder and that's going to create a new folder and you're going to want to call it something. Uh, along the lines of Minecraft server, just so you know what it is, so Minecraft server, there we go. You, it can be named whatever you want. Go ahead and open it, and now bring it to the side. Uh, now open Chrome, and just drag the server.jar file uh, into the folder here. Uh, now we can minimize Chrome for a second, and uh, one thing that a lot of people had trouble with uh, in my last video was they weren't able to see the .jar extension. And if you don't see the extension of your file here, it just says server. Come up here to view in the folder. And then uh, under the on the right here, it should say file name extensions. Make sure that's checked so you were able to see the extensions of the file. Uh, anyways, we can go ahead and minimize this server uh, folder here. Uh, go back into your internet browser. And on this page again, uh, under the download, you'll see this little code here. Go ahead and highlight it. Right click on it. Then click on copy. Once again, minimize your browser and go into the folder, right click in the folder, go to new text document, and you can just leave it as new text document.txt. You don't need to give it a name because we're going to delete it in a second. Go ahead and open it, open it with notepad. And I opened up on my second monitor. Now you're going to want to paste the code here. And then once you've pasted it, hit enter on your keyboard and in all caps type pause pause. Uh, basically what this is going to do is this is we're going to make this into a script, a run.bat script to launch your server. And if anything goes wrong, the pause will just make sure that the console just doesn't close and it'll print out uh, any errors. But we'll get to that in a second. Now there are a couple things we need to change here. So you'll see two things here that say uh, 1024. So here and here. And this is the amount of RAM that's going to be allocated to your server. Now uh, rule of thumb you want to have about one gigabyte of RAM for every five players on your server. So 1024 is one gig of RAM. So I usually like to put about two to four gigs of RAM. So in this example, I'll just put two. So you're going to want to do 1024 times two, which is 2048. And you're going to want to change that in both places here. 
and that should be good. And you can add as much RAM as you want up to half the amount of RAM you have on your computer. So we head back into the settings here and under device specifications and installed RAM, it shows that I have 16 gigabytes of RAM on my computer. Now I wouldn't want to use more than eight gigs of RAM, so half of the 16 gigs for my computer. Uh, but pretty much eight gigs is more, it's pretty overkill for just a Minecraft server. Like I mentioned before, you pretty much just want to have around two to four gigs uh, of RAM and that should be good enough. But anyways, the next thing we need to change here is where it says Minecraft underscore, underscore server 1.15.1.jar. This is the name of your server file here. So you're going to want to name this the exactly the same as your server.jar file here. So in my case, it's called server.jar. You're going to want to erase this and just type server.jar. And that should be good. Now come up here to file, save as, and you're going to want to call this run bat run dot bat you can pretty much give the file name whatever you want but make sure it just has the dot bat extension here now under save as type make sure you select all files and then click save now we can exit out of notepad here we can delete the new text document if you would like whoops and you're going to want to double click on the run dot bat and this is going to start your server and this is how you're going to want to start your server every single time you want to every time you want to start your server. Now it says here that uh, fail to load server.properties, fail to load eula.txt, you need to agree the eula in order to run your server. Now hit any key to continue and you'll see a eula.txt here. Go ahead and open it and you'll see eula equals false. Change that to true. Now come up here to file, save. Now exit out of notepad and run your server again. Now it should actually load your server and it should load a bunch more files into your server folder. So this might take uh, about a minute or so, so just give it a second to load. And you can see starting Minecraft server 1.15.1 and it's just going to load everything. So like I just mentioned, give it about a minute. So now it says it's done and you're going to want to now close your server. So to do that, type stop. And this is going to stop your server. You never want to exit out of your server to close it because let's say you're playing your uh, your world and you want to stop your server. Exiting out here uh, can make it so you will lose some progress in your world, basically. So just type stop to stop your server every single time. Hit enter and that's going to stop your server. Now press any key to continue. Okay, so now, like I mentioned before, a bunch more files were loaded into your Minecraft server folder. And we're going to want to take a look at the one that says server.properties. Now to open it, you're going to want to right click, open with, and you're going to want to open it with notepad. Now it's opened in notepad. And basically these are the settings for your server. So you can pretty much change these to however, however you like. So for example, uh, if you would like to enable PVP, uh, make sure that's true. If you want to turn PVP off, change that to false. You can change the difficulty, so if you'd like to change the difficulty of your server, you could change that to easy, uh, normal, hard, or peaceful. Uh, a couple of things to take note is if you scroll down here to the bottom where it says online mode, let's say you have a, you're have you playing on Cracked Minecraft or your friends are playing on Cracked Minecraft. Uh, in order for them to play on your server, you would want to change that to false. Uh, one more thing to take note is up here it says server IP. Make sure you leave that blank. A lot of people tend to put an IP address here and you're going to want to leave that blank otherwise it could actually mess up your server. This is used in more complex servers so just make sure that uh, you leave that blank. And once you're done changing everything just go up to file, save and then you can exit out of your server properties. Now we can actually go ahead and run our bat file again to start our server. Alright so now it's finished loading you can now minimize it and let's actually go check to see that everything is working correctly so we can minimize out of everything and open up Minecraft. So now that the game is loaded, head over to multiplayer, add server, you can give it whatever name you would like. Now under server address, type in local host, and this is going to connect to your server that's running on your computer. Hit done, give it a second to connect. You can see that's online. Now let's go ahead and join it. And there we go, we are now connected to our server. So at this point, only you yourself can join your server. No one from uh, any other connection can actually connect to your server. So we're going to have to open a port on our router to allow incoming connections. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can go ahead and hit escape and disconnect. Uh, and we can just go ahead and minimize Minecraft for now. 
So now you're going to want to head back into your internet browser. Now this step is kind of different for everybody because everybody has a different router. So I'll provide this link in the description below and this is going to show you how to port forward on your router. So you're going to want to come uh, down here and find your router in the list here. There's a, a wider range of different brands uh, listed here. And if you don't know which router you have, basically all you got to do is physically go up to your router and look uh, at your router and there should be some sort of label saying which model number you have. So in my case, I have a TP-Link. So I'm going to come over here to T and we're going to find TP-Link. I just saw it. There we go. And you'll get this little ad here. Just click on close. And now I have a TP-Link Archer C7. So I'm going to want to choose Archer C7. Now, if you don't see your model in the list here, there's two things you can do. You can either pick a similar model because generally certain brands will use the same methods of port forwarding for their routers, or you can simply just do a Google search how to port forward on your router and you should be good. And now this will basically give you a rundown on how to port forward on your router. So now I'll just run down how I would port forward on my router. So what you're going to want to do is head over to your router settings and to do that, just open up a new tab and you're going to want to type in the address to go into your router settings. So in my case, it's 192.168.1.1. Now to figure this out, uh, I'll show you in a second, but it's gonna prompt you with a login. And the login, uh, each router gives you a default login. So for me listed here, it's uh, on the port forward guide. Uh, if I scroll down, it says the username is admin and the password is admin. So if I just type that in, and hit enter, we're now in my router settings. Now, if you don't know how to find your uh, router settings address here, just go to the search bar here, type CMD and open up command prompt. And now enter the command IP config, config, hit enter. Now scroll up and you'll see default gateway is, that's not it, uh, ethernet adapter, ethernet two. So this is my ethernet adapter. I'm using ethernet, so you're gonna want to find uh, whether you're on Wi-Fi or Ethernet and under default gateway it says 192.168.1.1 so that's what I would enter to enter my router settings. Now make sure you keep this open just leave it minimized because we're going to need to reference that again in a second. Now you're going to want to come down here to forwarding. Now I already have a port open so I'm just going to delete that. Uh, we'll add a new and then service port you're going to want to choose 25565 this is going to be the same for everybody the port that minecraft uses to run a server is 25565 and under internal port that's going to be the same 25565 pretty much anywhere it says port just uh, set it as 25565 now under ip address this is where we're going to want to head back into uh your ip config so where it says ip v4 address uh it's going to just show a number here so for me it's 192.168.1.1 or 1.22. Now an IP4 address is basically just how your network identifies your computer on the network or how your router identifies the computer on your network. So you're gonna want to type that in in the IP address box here. So once again, it's 192.168.1.122. This will be different for every computer. Uh, now under protocol, make sure that it's selected as all or both and status set that as enabled go to save and that's going to save your port and you can see here 25565 uh, it should be open uh, now we can exit out of this and we can now test to see if our server is up and running and other people can connect to it so open up a new tab and you're going to want to go to google and you're going to want to type in what is my ip and it's going to show you an ip address here uh, i'm just going to blow mine out for now just so you guys uh, don't ddos me is, uh, or connect to my server. Anyways, you're just gonna want to copy this. And this is what you're gonna want to give out to your friends so that they can connect to your server. So now just head over to Minecraft. Now go to multiplayer. We'll add a server. We'll just paste this address in here. Go to done. So it's the second one here. You can see it's online. Let's go ahead and connect to it. And now we are in our server and other people can connect. Alright, so our server should now be up and running perfectly fine. Actually, coincidentally, my internet just decided to go down right when I tried to connect another account to the server. But now everything should be working perfectly. As you can see, I signed into a dummy account on my laptop and then tried to connect. And you can see the dummy account is in here uh, perfectly fine. So other people should be able to connect to your server once you give them uh, your IP address. Uh, one more thing I want to show you guys is how to make yourself an op. So basically what an op is, it's basically a server admin. It allows you to, uh, allows the admin to use pretty much any command you want on the server so if you were to try to use like any command like uh game mode uh pre 
creative I wouldn't let you unless you were an op so to do that just minimize out of Minecraft and you're gonna want to head into your server uh, this is also known as the console so you're gonna want to type in the command op op and then the username you want to make op so in my case set up byte hit enter and uh, basically now I am an op you can see made zettabytes a server operator I use the command now game mode uh, creative you can see well I'm already in creative so if I do game mode survival you can just see now my game mode is now survival and I can use any command uh, so basically you can actually put in any command you want so time set night and that will set your server to night so that's just a, a cool feature uh, I want to show you guys but uh, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I hope this video helped. If it did, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to help you guys out. Uh, also, check the description if you guys are having any issues. I'll put some commonly asked questions and uh, problems and how to troubleshoot them down there. So uh, make sure to check that before leaving a comment. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.